I think, um, with, to take a recent example, that the Higgs mechanism, um, the mechanism by which particles get mass, um, that, that's a, a relatively easy thing to describe. It's mind-blowing, right? The, the, the idea that in every cubic meter of space, if you, that if you calculate perhaps naively the amount of energy taken up, the so-called binding energy in the Higgs field per cubic meter, there's more energy in the sun outputs in a thousand years per cubic meter, which is a ridiculous thing to say. By the way, why that doesn't curve space-time um, in, in, in a ridiculous way would actually cause the universe to explode if, if you just work it all out naively. And what, why it doesn't do that is not known. So there are huge questions about the Higgs. But the idea that the vacuum is full of these things, this Higgs field, um, and matter gets its mass by interacting with it, is actually something you can talk about. And, and the reason I think there's, there's a nice story to tell is that the theory's been around for almost 50 years and, and everyone's had a lot of practice in understanding it. So whilst the mathematics of it are, are relatively difficult, although you, you, know, you teach them to undergraduate students, so, so, so it's not particularly problematic. But anyway, the, the actual ideas are quite simple. And I, I find that when I talk to audiences in talks or on television about the Higgs mechanism, people understand it. It seems, it feels understandable, although it's a rather bizarre story. Um, but what, what they often say, and I've seen this said many times about many physicists explaining things, is that they get it while you, while you talk about it, and then the moment that they walk out, then they can't repeat it in the pub, although they try. Although I've seen that said about comedians as well. I've seen, I think I've seen Eddie Izzard do a, a, a great um, part of his act on the fact that people are trying to tell his jokes. You know, and, and, and his jokes make absolute sense at the time, but the moment you walk out and someone in a pub tries to tell the joke, it all falls to bits. And I think it's the same with science a lot of the time. And I've got the reason for that, of course, which is that you're using a shorthand. And so, so really, to, to understand the, the Higgs mechanism and how it works, you, you've got to sit there and do, do the maths. But you can still tell a story about it. Um, and I think that's uh, it's very important, actually. And it's interesting because the, um, I suppose, the, it's, it's almost one of the problems about, or the challenges of communicating modern science, is that really, to, to deeply understand it, you, you have to do mathematics, certainly physics. The mathematics is the language of nature at the most fundamental level we know. So, so if you're talking about fundamental physics, then language is not the appropriate language. Right? It's a, it's a, for some reason, which is, it, it's either a great mystery or obvious, and I'm not sure there's any sort of grey area. For some reason, mathematics is, is the language of nature. It could be that we live in a, a, a universe that's structured in, in, some, in a predictable way, obviously. I mean, it, there are, there are structures like planets and stars and life and civilizations in the universe so the universe has to well civilization there's only one that we know of in the universe and so the universe has to behave in some predictable way there are patterns underlying nature and mathematics is the language of patterns it's the language that's used to describe patterns so i've seen people say that that that's the reason that mathematics is a, is a good guide However, there's a very famous essay by a physicist called Eugene Wigner called The Unreasonable Effectiveness of Mathematics in the Physical Sciences. And the key word there is unreasonable. So, so you can also look at it that there's some, there's some deeper mystery there. There's something we, we've yet to understand about the universe that, uh, that, that means that the universe is described in this language, the language of mathematics, whatever the reason it is. And so therefore, any explanation using language the English language, let's say, um, is going to be um, deficient in some way.